here. Timothy, is that you? I don't know where they are. <laughs> hey, uh, that, that could be a good place to start, actually, if we're going to do this. Are you guys ready? What, yeah. to start an Or do you want to just have, like, a... Do you want to have a bit of banter first, and then we... I mean, we're recording, but, like, we don't have to officially start yet. So, wait, you're going to make questions? So we're going to talk about something, or we're just going to... Talk shit yeah. for the next. Talk shit, but I got, I got, um, I got some questions by order of the queen. She, no, she wants to make sure that this doesn't go too, too out of control. By order really? of the queen. She's, yeah, what? she, she's Who's very concerned about this. She's very concerned. Are you talking about Yaz? Yaz is, she's sweating about this one. So, wait, wait, wait. is her idea to do this? It's our idea, but uh, you know, when it comes to the crunch, and I'm ready to get you guys in, and she's like, oh, okay, all right, maybe. Can we, they can't can talk about. They can't can talk about. The for a second. Hey, hey, hey! Hang on. We've, what? 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 On record for a second. Off record. Off, off record. record. Off record. record. Yeah. Off record. Off record. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, yep. Do it. Oh, I don't know which one is right. What do you mean? So green means it's not on, right? Green means it's not on. Red right. means it's recording. Okay. I think it should be the other way around because like yeah, yeah, green no, is that's, that's, what, that's, that's what I Yo, would. I'm gonna change to number four because this is kind of loose. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's we good. can't talk about drugs. No. Uh, well, I, mean, I guys, yeah, I say we could just come. You know, there's there's this code. Words. There's a code oh, that um that race by number four. Mr. Alex here introduced. And uh, yeah. what do you want? Number four up a little bit. But oh, I, I forget the code that I used in my blog. Ah, oh, four, isn't that one? Yeah, that's your I, headphones. I, like I told all my that. friends this so that they were snickering, but like my parents were completely over their heads. Yeah, because Alex used the code, and I reckon we should use that as yeah. our system. Yeah, so we, we could just say, like, if it's like drugs, like if you're getting munted or something, like, oh, 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 let's complete. just avoid the drugs. Yeah, I think so. We have so, a lot of so shit to talk. All right, that's, that's I fine. think we just avoid it. Like, to be honest, I haven't done too much drugs here compared to back in Australia. Bullshit. So it's like, there's not that many. <laughs> yeah. so you're rolling tits a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just grab your microphone knowledge. and bring what it a bit closer. About? Yeah. So, but there's not that many good stories I have that yeah, I've been on right. drugs besides like, okay. A couple of orgies right. and um, yeah. robbing a bank. See, I'm, that's the thing. Well, um, to be fair, my orgies. Or, uh, now, orgies allowed on the table? Well, uh, I would assume. I don't, I don't know. Well, but I, I no, no, no names. So we obviously. Yeah, no names. That was one of them. No names and no, 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 no overt names. So mention like for, of drugs. For any, uh, for any people, let's come up with names for like one girl and one guy. We just always mention them. <laughs> so wait, no names in what subject you're talking about? Anything that's going to like, you know. Oust, to oust them yeah. and throw them on the bus. This should use your common sense. Like when like you if, if, if drape. Uh, what was the name of the other girl that you raped the other day? <laughs> oh, Jonathan. Yes, that, that was wasn't a girl, man. I'm sorry. She I'm got, he got me real good. I, I thought got, it was. I got confused. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got it. And look, but at the end of the day, like no one's going to hear this until I've put the filter through it. Yaz has put the filter through it. So if yeah. we do say shit, I'll just cut it out. Yeah. 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 Okay. And you guys will hear it before anyone else. So like you can be like, yeah, I'm okay with that, or whatever. Yeah. But that's it. That's pretty much it. But let's not overtly. I, I want to use the codes. You know, like, what was it? The Eating codes? out was getting taking drugs, Go, uh, going over for dinner. I was, uh, what was sleeping it? over at a girl's place, <laughs> looking up with the girl. So and, that was and your my plot? grandma never knew. <laughs> 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 that, but that's when I was writing a blog, and because uh, because she was like, it was my grandma, my mom, and like a couple friends that ever read it realistically when I was first traveling. So that's why I stopped. Mm. But that was, that was my code throughout. Dude, the only way I communicated with home when I was traveling in 2005, because there was no Wi-Fi, the only place you could go were the internet cafes. And there wasn't even like Facebook or yeah. YouTube or anything, right? Yeah. So the only way to communicate was to send emails. And yeah. so I actually ended up printing out all the emails I sent in 2005. And it's a stack like this. And that's, I mean, those email accounts are gone and shit. It's like Hotmail and that. So all of I those stories are gone, but now that they're printed out, that's the only kind of evidence of all of the stuff. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, there's no social media, so it's not like you guys can look up on this when, stuff when anytime you want in the went, future. When uh, got stolen, it was actually here. So pissed, by the way. Uh, I will tell the story of how it... Do you have another but, uh, of this one, by any chance? What's My fucking journal was one of these little emailed to myself. Plugins? So another one? It. Wait. Because um, my journal was my unfiltered blog. Why is it buckled? Yeah, it's just like... Give us a try, because I might be able to set it to a spot that's going to work. Cause I have another one of those plugs, if need be. As I well. got one more, I think. I think I, I do have, have that one bag. More, actually. They're usually for, um, yeah, just try here. Hello, hello. Yeah, some of these, it's the rings sometimes. Yeah. If you put them in all the way, they don't actually work. And if you just kind of 
put them in halfway, and it should be fine. Yep. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Sounds fabulous. Right, Timothy? Theodore, <laughs> are you going to introduce yourselves? Yeah. Like, are you going to introduce each other? Should we? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm Timothy, you're Theodore. My name is Theodore. <laughs> are we, we going to start with code Martin. names for you guys? <laughs> to start, like, are you actually going to reveal who you are? For fear of uh, retribution later. Well, <laughs> you don't have to worry. <laughs> no, 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 nothing happens to me. Johnny. No, it's, it's a story about ballads on these two swans, Timothy and Theodore. We see them and they were just like gangsters. We were fit, sitting there feeding them. This should be recorded, and, by yeah, the way. Yeah. This should be. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, how yeah. Timothy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Should we, should, we, should we. Actually, I know. Can I Can I just hit it? And yeah. then we just. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. All right. So I, I know uh, Theodore and, and. What was it? Timothy. Timothy. Yeah. yeah, we saw them um, last time we were there. Oh, they, like, I got the whole story, man. I got the whole story. <laughs> still I ate out. I ate out. And we all <laughs> ate out at Bellaton and we went to the pier and it was a beautiful sunset. Really good food, too. <laughs> and um, then they came out, the two swans. Yeah, Timothy and Theodore, they're still there. Actually, the well, there, was, there was one first, and, uh, you know, it was... <laughs> it was definitely Timothy. Glenn, Glenn said, oh, uh, and, and Glenn was like, oh, that, that must be Timothy. And <laughs> He's like, always Theodore. the Theodore. And I was like, who are these guys? And I was like, no, nah, that's, that's the swans, man. That's what <laughs> and then as uh, Theodore was circling around, then the other one came out. Yeah, he's Almost easy. like on clockwork, you know. <laughs> he's a bit late, Theodore. He's like me. I'm always late to things. He seems like that. He's <laughs> a great swan. Yeah, he's, he's always, a good swan. always ready. Even if it's late, he's always ready. <laughs> All right, officially, guys, do you want to introduce yourselves? Well, uh, actually, let's try this. Alex, can yeah. you introduce like one of these guys? And then Yo Yo, you introduce one of these guys, and whoever's left over, you introduce the other person. So well, go sitting on. to my uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. left right here is uh, Timothy. That's <laughs> <laughs> Officially? That's your Officially. right. Now nah, come on, give us his oh, real name. Oh, that's the right. Oh, special, sorry, I'm man. dyslexic. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> listen, Alex, he's going he's gonna to listen to this in a few years' yeah. time. And remember, this is his last week in Budapest for it's 10 years. Right, yeah, that's right. Sorry, so he needs right. it, we need to hear his and name. also, I'm Theodore, not Timothy. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh, really? Timothy. Oh, yeah, sorry. What? Really? Yeah. No, thought, he's Timothy. I'm Theodore. Alex. 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 Sorry. Stuff. Well, sitting to my left is Timothy. <laughs> <laughs> that was all my introduction. Oh, for fuck's sake, Alex. With this. The no, king no, of no. Balaton. All right, I'm going to just make it easy for you. We've got Yo-Yo from Australia. We've got Alex from the States. And what's your name again, Mr. Argentinian? <laughs> como su, como su, no, 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 no. Me chiamo. Yeah? Uh, como te chiamo. How do you say uh, what is your name again? Como es tu nombre? Como es tu nombre? Oh, Martin. 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 You guys, we were here for Christmas. I don't know if we're ever going to hear what was said that night. I have a recording of oh, it. I can't remember. But that was that was a big. That was a pretty good. Uh, we were talking about parties. This is the theme for for tonight's podcast. And um, like, there were so many people you could reel in for this subject. But I wanted these two. Uh, I didn't even know if you were going to be around. I want Jake on here at some point, and I wanted to get Gemma on as well. I think she's coming soon. Is she yeah. tonight? Yeah, yeah, Jim. Ah, yeah. great, great, great. But the thing oh. is, like, uh, like, uh, I re we really wanted to reel you in, Yo-Yo, because you're leaving soon. Yeah, a couple more days. Yeah. When did you When did you get here? I got here for jeez, um, May twenty third, two thousand sixteen. Two thousand sixteen. Yeah, May twenty third. I was. I don't know how I got here. I don't remember anything <laughs> of that day, but. That was also the day I got hired at Retox, the exact same day. Within, so you went straight into Retox? Yeah, within. So I, I skateboarded from Neplinget to Retox because I ran out of internet on Flixbus because they only give you a certain amount. So I ran out of internet <laughs> and then the internet was so shit on my phone, like the dart, uh, the Wi-Fi. All it could load was uh, the, the route on how to get there, like Street View kind of thing. It didn't tell me how to get there. It didn't like say what bus to take or anything. So I was like just following this thing. I got my skateboard and my rolly luggage. But I how just, did you know to go to Retox? Because like Google map only showed the way there, but it didn't show like buses, how to get there by buses uh, or something. Because yeah, yeah. it wouldn't load. So yeah. and then I just skated. I but just, why why Retox? Why uh, did you know before you got to Retox no, what I, it was? I had no idea. So I, I uh, Googled Party Hostel in the first time I ever Googled Party Hostel was when I was in Budapest. I was in uh, Bratislava. And I Googled party host, I was like, oh, I was by myself. I was like, oh, Retox, this looks cool. Mm. Looked in, I remember reading, it's like, if you came here to sleep, don't. That's all I read from the bio. I was like, <laughs> yep, booked in. So I booked in for two days, and then two days at Infinity Hostel, the old incident. And I, uh, so I thought, oh, for some reason, after my two days, like, 
Well, they hired me on the first day. They're like, oh, do you want to start work now? I was like, no, I may as well. I paid for two days. May as well just be a guest for two days. Work out how, the, yeah. how everything's like. Yeah, yeah, and then I was like, they're like, I'm like, oh, I've booked another, because Retox is booked out over the weekend. So I was like, I booked another hostel. They're like, what hostel was it? And for some reason, I said Grandio. I don't know why I said Grandio. I've huh? never heard of this place in my life. What? Yeah, and then they, they call, they're like, oh, it's okay. We'll call up Grandio. They call up Grandio. They're like, oh, is this person uh, booked in for the next two days? Can we hide him? They're like, no. Uh, and I was like, wait, what? I was like, I swear it was great. I checked my emails and it was uh, Infinity Hostel. <laughs> so I just didn't show up. I was like, oh, fuck it. It was around the corner. I was like, oh, fuck it. I'm not even going to show up. Like, Shit. So you just went into Retox without knowing what Retox was? I had no idea what Retox was. I never even knew about party hostels. I've traveled... That was like that's the thing. Like, I traveled it, so much, it's never never thought it, of it. Even even when I was traveling, um, like this is back in 2013 through Europe, and even even recently, party hostels doesn't seem to have a much of a presence in other places apart from Budapest and maybe Berlin. But yeah. I don't know. I just never really got into that culture. I just I didn't even see it that I, much. I never even knew they that were that, yeah. that was a thing. Yeah, if that was the case. That, the first time I travelled, I would have booked all my hostels, party hostels. Yeah. I was like, uh, literally, it was like, I was living in Italy and I was just, oh, I got bored, so I left. And then, I don't know, for some reason, I just Googled party hostel as I was going to Budapest. Uh, all the other places I was in, before that, I was in Prague, didn't do that, didn't Google party hostel, I would have stayed at like Madhouse or something. Mm. And then Bratislava, I would have stayed at Wild Elephant, didn't know about him. And then, for some reason in Budapest, I was just like, fuck it, I'll look at a party hostel. And that came up and I could book it for two days then Infinity, which for some reason I swear it was great. Yeah, I booked it, to, to be fair, I, I do think actually the party co- hostel culture sort of, I don't know if it started, I don't know, who knows. But mm. just the fact that it was so cheap and yeah, cheap sort of shit, Eastern yeah. Europe, I, I really do think this sort of helped. So do you think that party hostels in general are cheaper than normal hostels? Yeah, definitely. Oh. Yeah. Well, not, yeah, not cheaper than Just like definitely the quality. Okay, you can go to those. You can go to those cheapest shit hostels. Those ones where they're Ukrainian workers. Yeah, and like it's and twenty it's, kilometers away yeah, from the city yeah, center. And they're like and, fifty yeah. year olds. You can get cheaper there, but like I don't know. It's like I can't even remember the price of Retox when I booked, but it was the, one of the highest rated, and it was it one was, of the cheapest. It was like mm. six, seven euros a night when I first came. Granted, that was like two thousand fourteen. Yeah, I, I actually never stayed in Retox, but um, wow, I know. Were the parties back home as intense as the parties here in your experiences? Like back in Australia, back in America, back in Argentina. Well, maybe Argentina. <laughs> uh, like, of course, we can't. We can't ever compare anything, anything to Argentina because it's always going to trump it. <laughs> so back. But like yeah, like. So in a, it's different. Because like, I feel like I had my party. Like I experienced parties in Australia and all of that, but I felt like I matured. Like in my, uh, my my sense of what a party is, yeah. it's like Budapest taught me a lesson. It just like it, it was like these are actual possibilities for what you can do when you have some drinks and do things. Like I just don't know why. Maybe it was just coincidence, but I feel like a lot of people who come here for the first like first time, they kind of experience a party culture that they don't get anywhere else. <laughs> yeah. So with back in the show, I go to different parties. I go to like psych- psychedelic trance parties, stuff like that. Here I've been a heap some well. He eats out a lot. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of there's a lot on the menu that. And night. here I've been I've been to a few, but like <laughs> festival wise or oh, festival wise I've been to like I don't know, I've done a Zaget, I've done a Zara, I've done like back in Melbourne I've done like Earthcore and stuff like that. Festival wise it's bigger. Party wise I'd say it's hundred percent more. Like you if you're from Melbourne, you know how it is, like in Budapest, every day there's something to do. Yeah. Melbourne weekdays is like uh, no, it's nothing. Not, that, not that much to do. Yeah, no, you hold on to you know maybe a Thursday, but definitely Friday, yeah, Saturday night. Yeah, Thursday, Friday, but Saturday. But every night there's something. But I mean that's Europe, right? Yeah. Wouldn't true. you say that's Europe? Oh, uh, I would say I, I'll say yes. Yeah. 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 I know that when people from Spain come to Argentina and they have fun, it's unbelievable because it's like something. All the clubs are open from Monday till Monday. And as they just mm. come to Argentina, they get smashed all the time, and they go back to Europe. It's like that place was insane. No, when they then, talk about what Buenos Aires, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah, yeah. they say that Buenos Aires never sleeps. It is a yeah, city that never that. sleeps. It's so big, it's so a lot of people. So there's always something to do. And in fact, that that's the thing I I link similar to um, Buenos Aires and Budapest is that for me they're both cities of the night. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like Buenos Aires, really. Like I, I didn't mind it walking around during the day, but like. It was at night time that I felt it really I came alive. No, and I think crazy. the same thing for Budapest. It's beautiful during the day, Budapest. Yeah. But for me, I came here for the night. 
Yeah, you know? same. We, I'm pretty sure we all did too. We, and we are, we are <laughs> night creatures when you think about it. Do you I actually didn't. You? I just, it, Budapest is one of the first few cities uh, as a child, since I was four years old, I want to go to Paris, I want to go to Vienna and Budapest. Why? Why? Because of the nightlife. <laughs> <laughs> how, how old were you? I knew I was fucking going to be buckled since <laughs> I was five and a half. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, just one of my favorite comedians uh, just has a joke. And what? Oh, what is the, it? The punchline's called Budapest. Well, I, I can't really set it up. It sounds it's like a ten minute joke. But like, <laughs> Did you hate it when you get put on the spot to tell a joke that you kind of like half remember and you're like, no, oh, no, shit. I, I could tell the, I could actually probably tell the whole thing, but like, I'm not going to do it on this podcast. But the the punchline is just called Budapest Gangbang. Oh, and uh, so, uh, 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 my best friend and I porn always, reference. Yeah, <laughs> Budapest and pornography. What do they have in common? Yeah, actually, so it was in Vegas. Oh, I won't tell. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys think you've been spent? You've spent most of your time in Budapest, conscious and awake at night rather than during the day. Nah, nah. Me, it's always been conscious during the morning and. I wouldn't even say day because I'm usually not conscious by that either. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hard Have one. Have you seen more sunrises than most people? <laughs> yeah, usually uh, my day. There, is. there was a streak for about a year where I always set foot in instant and I always wanted to see the sunrise, but I always came out too early. And oh. The sun was already up. <laughs> <laughs> a streak of what? A year? No, it was a less because I was during the winter, so I obviously it was but like, I phased through like that entire summer. I was like, yeah, guys, we're going to see the sunrise. We're going to walk back to the hospital today. We're going to go up on the bridge or Gellert Gil- Hill, see the sunrise. Nah. By the time we came out of the club, too late. <laughs> <laughs> What's your longest streaks? Cool. Your biggest benders in Budapest. Holy shit. Fuck. Oh, jeez. Like, I want, I want, I, actually, I'm going to make a prediction. I'm I'm gonna gonna say, I, I reckon you've, no, I reckon you've, you've got the most. Second most, third oh, most. Yeah. Wow. I don't think so. I think, like, as in, like, drinking every day? Yeah. Just partying, like, a, a, a oh, bender, well, a streak. Five years. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I know. Pretty, pretty, pretty much weekend. five years. Yeah. I had a little break when I went back to Australia, but pretty much five years. <laughs> I don't even remember the last time I was sober. That's mm. the actual truth. I, I remember uh, the last time I didn't drink. In the, in the past seven years, I'm pretty sure I went a couple times, at least two or three, where I did a week sober. So, I mean, that's I've never done that. <laughs> I don't think I you ever tried will. once. <laughs> actually, I tried it once. It lasted two hours. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That's actually that's true. a strange <laughs> thought. Yeah. You don't know what you're like when you're sober. No, I, I mean I do sober, know what I'm but... like. Like, I mean, I doesn't mean I'm going I'm crazy. Just, I, you hate it. That's why you drink. I know what I'm, I, I know what I like when I'm sober. I'm sitting there shaking and <laughs> got hot and cold sweats. It's horrible. But I will that's be sober. Withdrawal. I will be sober soon. Is it this? Is it the? It's got to be the people that that is like you know, um, prompt you to drink every day. Yeah, the one right next to me. What? That's Actually, some I'm bullshit. pointing at myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you guys came in and you, you you all came through the party like party bookers. Alex, you were you were kind of like not. I was definitely them. separate. You um, were separate. The at first start, time I came to the city was uh, April first, two thousand fourteen, and. Um, I just always found myself coming back here. Budapest was one of the f- expectations lead to failure, right? And mm-hmm. so, like I said, it was one of the first three uh, cities yeah. I ever wanted to come in Europe. Mm. But when I, once I started traveling Europe for about a year, I, I just sort of put it off. But everyone's like, you should go to Budapest. I was like, how the fuck do you guys know about that? Like, I thought that was a random place that like, I just sort of wanted to go to. It was special to. for you, but it turned out it was actually more popular on the... From of people who were on like the road, fucking crazy, or from yeah. people who are in from just, other parts of Europe. Yeah, just from on the road, and quite weirdly, actually, I met a lot of Hungarians traveling as well. Huh. And they're like, "Oh yeah, you should come here." And uh, this is one of the few places I ever went. I was like, definitely gonna let me down. Did not at all. And uh, first week in the city, you know, I met Yaz, met Suze. Um, first bar I ever set foot in was Retox, and. Oh, so yeah. you went straight to Retox as well? I didn't actually, no. I had another hostel, but um, some other Australian cunt that I was traveling around with at the time, or just knew that he was in the city, he was like, he sent me a message, he's like, Wait, did you just get in Budapest? I was like, yeah. He's like, I'm coming to Retox. is like right around the corner. I was like, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> but that, uh, the, but was, um, was the party culture as big back then? Yeah, I mean, I like to think Because it was, because um, it wasn't, 
on the maps for me so much when I first came in 2013. It was getting there. I think it's been like it, it felt like it hit its peak. When do you, do you think there was a peak last year? Bef- no, the year before in 2019. Uh, to me, it was it'd be like 16. Did you or 17, see like a growth be, honestly. from the years that you were when, here? When, in, when instant switched locations, yeah. to me that was a huge like cut off, and I saw not I don't want to say like a down in the party. That that's that's a lie. A hundred percent a lie. Mm. Well, it's definitely a change in culture, and I could see everything's a little slipping now, and everything I mean, it will be different. Were things a lot freer when I, you first got here? Well, I came. I first came in 2012. I don't remember anything, but <laughs> that's why I came again because I don't remember. I literally don't remember a thing. I was actually with a friend. He, I did a Kentucky tour, and I was with a friend, and you he, did a Kentucky yeah, tour. Yeah, so we came here, and I was with a friend, and he's like, oh, "We we walked past Wombats," and he's like, "We stayed there." I was like, "Really?" It's like, it's like you don't remember. I was like, I don't remember anything about what I I was, I was fucked the whole time. You seriously can't remember. No, cannot remember. You don't the, remember the what thing, kind of parties you went to. What no. kind of well, you just like you were Not drinking. Right. You must. Uh, yeah. Did you eat out at all? Like I you know, did you? No. It's one of those things. Like I remember one thing was the Terror Museum. <laughs> I remember the Terror Museum. Ah uh, yeah yeah yeah. That's all. Yeah. The only reason I remember I the Terror, Mu- Terror Museum is because when the sun goes onto the Terror Museum, it says Terror at the front of it, like because it's written on the top. So mm. it's like sun sh- shades as Terror. I don't know if I remember a thing. I was <laughs> fucked that whole time. I don't remember half the countries I went to. Oh, I, know, I went to 21 countries that year. I probably no, remember then he went to fucking two. I, <laughs> remember, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, I probably only remember two. Actually, only <laughs> <laughs> not a country. I don't remember. Anything. I don't remember anything. It was like. Yeah, when I first came here, like, yeah, actually, I can't answer that one. Martin, what about you, man? Like, when you first got here, well, were you here for, for Budapest first, or the party scene first, or the, came, or a job? I came here first traveling. Uh, my, bo- my brother was traveling through Europe. I was back home doing nothing. And he invited me for a week to do, like, all these uh, Eastern countries. Just came yeah. here. I had no idea where the fuck was Budapest. Like, so you oh, knew nothing about it? Before nothing. You. Nothing. I didn't know it was a country and then I had to search it. I was like, it's, it's actually not a country, it's, yeah, a, it's, city. A, it's a city. <laughs> to, to be fair, when, when I first moved here, my sister's like, where are you living in Budapest? I was like, what the fuck do you mean? <laughs> like, you haven't been here. What do, what do you want, a street location? <laughs> She's like, no, you know, north, south, east, west. I'm like, what? She's like, yeah, like in the country, north, south. I'm like, God, I was like, get out of here. I mean hungry, I don't mean Budapest. <laughs> I know, sorry. And um, yeah, I was like, where the fuck am I going right now? Came here with my brother, it might be like 2013 or 14. Uh, yeah. uh, I spent 10 days and then I kept traveling. I went to Estonia, got a job in a party hostel. I met, um, what was his name? Medler? Medler? Medler. As in Vitae Medler. As, but yes, with a. Um, you met him? With a blonde girl. His um, name is actually up there somewhere, I think. You got the guy in coin downs. I think it's Medlar's up there. Could be. There's oh, a no, he's been changed. Fucking Medlar. With, with a blonde girl, German, I think it was... Oh, I feel so embarrassed. I hope she doesn't listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> and they told me about Budapest. I was very arrogant at that time. I was my first party hostel in Estonia. I thought it was the king. Mm. And then I came here to Budapest. First place I visited, it was Grandio and Retox because I was trying to continue my job also on a party hostel. Mm-hmm. And then I realized like the party was... The party that Budapest means with ah, these two places. Okay, and okay. So it was. It, what was the difference then? What was the main difference between your experience in Estonia and here uh, coming into the party? Well, I assume that Estonia doesn't run a lot of people that they see it moves, you know. And yeah, Greetox and Grandio has a different vibe of a party hostel compared to what uh, Estonia could be like a place like this on the top level on a building very cold, just a bar and like guests, mm. but having their own bar under the hostel and gathering the five hostels together, that's a massive thing. The thing is thing. for me, what makes the difference between here and like other places, maybe Berlin similar, but the imagination that goes into how to have fun and parties, like the way, like kudos to Yaz, man, come up with these ideas like, you know, the like bingo. Genius. And they like, and, 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 and even yeah. like, you know, just like they, they, they've got the karaoke is a big thing in Budapest, yeah. and it's not in many other places in Europe. That's another party vibe. They, they've got the cave parties. That the, my first experience of partying in Budapest was at a cave party. It was in a quarry, with me, Arwen, 
Joshy oh, yeah. and, and Lawrence. And, and even Owen was kind of like, what the fuck? We've, I've never done this I'll before. I'll say, Owen, if you listen to this, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> they, don't, they don't used to do those parties. I fucking used to love those parties. Do you know the ones I'm talking about? Yeah, they had like DJs funny. in case. It was in yeah. a quarry or something. And then and they used to do like abandoned buildings throughout the city as well. They sort of stopped those. I mean, like, again, like you said, like I've just noticed... But the Different abandoned vibe, thing, kind of, I think of Berlin when I think of abandos and stuff. Obviously, they don't have it here. Yeah, but they have like full on proper clubs. Berlin is a different vibe. Like, mm. they don't know how to explain it, but. They're, they're more obviously put together. But that's yeah. the part of Budapest that I love the most the yes, whole ruin exactly. aspect. The, exactly. the, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Everything is kind of like crumbly and heavy but like, and trashy. But like, they. There's a lot of creativity in this city that I don't see anyone else. Yeah. yeah. I think my first escape room experience was in Budapest. Yeah, mine too. It yeah. was yeah? Uh, for me, 100%. Yeah? yeah. 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 It was sick. We did, we did a couple um, for party books, actually. Was that the first time you did it? No, I did it with a friend of mine. Oh, so we did there. a couple. and it, like We did one. Yeah, we it was me, Caden, and Molly, and you. Yeah. And Abby, <laughs> I think. And there was a couple. There was a... We, 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 I was actually in the Game of Thrones one. Oh, and hang on, hang on. Is that the day we all went? Yeah, well, you were there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's right. And when and you what? guys were, really? you, yeah, yeah, you split yeah. off. And, and um, we, we went did another one. They there was the Pirates one. of the Caribbean and uh, Game of Thrones. Yeah, I did the, yeah, the, yeah. And they let us do another one. The person's like, oh, yeah, hey, you can do too, another yeah. one. We're like, are you serious? And yeah, it was, it was fucking sick. Like, I was pretty useless. <laughs> I don't watch Game of Thrones. I'm not a big fan of it. I'm pretty useless at that kind of stuff. And I'm not really a puzzle person. I'm I'm, like, I'm not interested. I'm not interested. I'm, I'm one of them guys. I need to be interested in something. And that I just wasn't interested. It was fun. And I, I find a couple of random pieces that they're like, whoa, that would... We yeah, would, we would never have found that. I was just like, oh, I just found it like over there. And then, yeah, other than that, I was like, just useless. <laughs> like, I was just sitting there. Like, what was one time I was just actually just sitting down and just like, they're sitting there, like, oh, I find this. I was like, I don't even know what that means, but yeah, you go do your own thing. Like, I'll sit until you open up the door because I'm not good at those things. Hey, guys, I was thinking, let's take a uh, smoke out. Yeah, yeah, sweet. Cause I'll, but I'm going to throw a heads up. Now I want to hear some, like, think of some stories. Oh, think of some I some, some stories. Stories, stories about right? what? I've been thinking for days. Things now. that you've been that you've seen in the party atmosphere that you just think you will never like forget. <laughs> I know you've all seen stuff. Book. I know you've yeah. all seen it's stuff. It's one of those things that if I but told this is the thing. Like this could go on forever. So you gotta you gotta put your filter on and bring out yeah. the best. Yeah. You know? yeah. Like, I mean, no pressure. And the thing is, like you 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 all. Whenever someone's sharing these kind of stories. It always triggers some kind of yeah, other yeah, thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It triggers another one, yeah. All right, All right, we're we'll going to take a break. Yeah. We'll be back in about, you know, whatever. No one's going to listen to like I talk like people are listening live. And we'll be back. Yeah. 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 No, no one's listening. Just say five minutes regardless, you're going to cut it off. So. <laughs> listen to this great jam. It's like, with one thing I've always would love to do is be on radio. Like, my job is just sit there and just talk. It'd be fucking fun How shit. fucking cool would that be? Yeah, just sit there just talking shit on radio. So, like, uh... You know, like, oh, we're I running out of adjectives it. and we're I, adverbs. For this. I couldn't believe it. Like, <laughs> the shit she was saying was like, so see that narange, narange, which means orange in Hungarian. That orange. She was like, that's not orange in Hungarian because there's a C, Y, and S in it. I was like, where's the C, Y, and S? There's no C, Y, and S in that. I honestly, I, I have no I idea. I think she was talking about this. That's a C. She, oh, she, thinks, she thinks it was a Y. Oh. She meant that there was C. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. She also said Y. But she's Hungarian and she knows well, how it should fucking no, spell. Does she know? I don't think she knows. She yeah, didn't see. Yeah. She didn't see. Right, we're gonna do this. But she was fucking yeah, no fucked. No One, two, three. Yeah, there you go. All right. Oh, yeah. I'm mean, number four, though. No, this is you. No, Your headphones. Oh. Oh, this. Number four. Oh, Got it? Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Sweet. I'm ready for this. Again. Testing. Mm -hmm. One, two. My name is... All right. All right, I brought I uh, brought you back to tell me stories. Okay. Come on, come on now. Like, uh, no, story. It, it, like, oh, yo, 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 Martin, Alex. Uh, um, <laughs> okay, so I've got a couple of stories that I thought of that would is pretty funny actually. <laughs> well, not funny at the time, but now I think back, it was pretty funny. Actually, oh, fuck no. it, it was funny. Anyway. <laughs> so Yaz actually uh, messaged me. I was at home, and it was. Uh, I think, what's Sunset Drift? And Yaz messaged me, she's like, oh, can you get the zip ties for me? And I was like, yeah, well, no, fuck it, like, um, I'm at home, 
Like, I was like, fuck it, yeah. When was this? Oh, I would not even know. 2018? Yeah. I think summer. Two th- I can't remember. So she called you for some zip ties? Yeah. For she, the boat party? Yeah, so she told me to go to Obby. I was like, yeah, sweet, I'll go to Obby. Like, I lived in the 8th District. I lived, like, not that far from Obby. So I was like, yeah, it's, it's, it's like, oh, uh, well, like, I'm, I'm going to get out of bed anyway, like. I have a question. So, was this the time you were on a drinking ban from Sunset Drift? I never got a drinking band on Sunset Drift. That was Ooh. Martin. That was my next league. All right, that's the story to come up with. Put a pin in that one. Put a pin in that one. All right, keep going. You got and zip ties. And then, so I'm on the 4-6 line, and it's like probably yeah. about, I don't know, 3 p.m. or something. I don't even remember. And, but it was early. And this guy comes and sits across me. I'm on the tram, and he sits like, you got the two seats of the tram. I'm on one. He's on there. I was about to warn this guy. There was a kebab on the floor. I was, like, I was about to warn him. Be like, yeah, watch out for that. I was like, ah, oh, fuck it. Like, yeah. And he had like a fluoro, like a high vis shirt on. So he opens up his bag and he starts like pulling, like he's, he's looking through his bag and I see like a roll in there with, and like a tape measure. And then he pulls out this fucking massive knife. Pulls out this what? big knife and he flicks the cover off. And he's You call that a knife. <laughs> <laughs> this is a knife. <laughs> and he flicks the cover off and he starts fucking waving them at me. And he's speaking Hungarian. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> what? I'm and like, you? Yeah. I'm like to him, sorry, bro, I don't speak Hungarian. He's like, <laughs> he's like nah, 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 nah. I'm like, I still don't speak Hungarian. <laughs> and he's just like, he's confused. Um, and I was like, oh, I'm like, oh, your bag, worker. He's like, he's like, Tishik. I was like, the worker. Well, he's got this knife and he hands me his dust mask. And I put it on, take it off, and give it back to him. And then he gives it back to me. So I'm like, no, no. So I put it in his bag. Like, I got this, I put up his bag, put it in, while he's still got a knife at me. And I was like, what the, and then the next stop happens. And he's sitting there, like, fucking just waving at me. I'm like, bye. And he's like, he's so confused. But I still don't know what he wanted. <laughs> that was the best part about it. I don't know if he was trying to rob me or not, but... What way did you, like, he handed you the, the, the dust mask? So, what I found out, I told a Hungarian friend about this story, and he's like, the dust mask, he's like, they put glue in there and sniff it. So, he, oh. so when I put it on, and I took He thought it you off, were... When I put it on and took it off, he thought, that that's not enough time, you got to sniff it long Oh, so he wanted you to, to get high with... Look. Yeah, apparently, I don't know, it was, it was the most confusing thing, because I, I didn't know what happened, I was just like... Some girl, as I get off the, the tram, some girl's like, are you okay? I was like, what do you mean I'm okay? I don't even know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> was like, the other time a fucking knife, I got a knife pulled out on me was uh, Blaha. Oh, and I'm, so I get on that, like when I lived at Blaha, near Blaha, I get off the bus from like, oh, I can't even know where it was. And then we get to Blaha and this girl comes up to me and she's got like a broken nose. She's got two black eyes and she's... <laughs> She's sitting there, sex, sex. I was like, no, please go away. I'm sitting there speaking to some Hungarian I met on the bus. And like, we're just sitting there speaking. And she's like, she's like, see, keep grabbing me. I'm like, fuck off or I'll break your nose again. <laughs> she storms off. And then she goes to where she was sitting, gets a knife out. And the Hungarian dude's like, yo, man, she's got a knife. I was like, the knife is like, probably like that big. She's like, you got a knife? I was like, dude, I got a skateboard. So I ran at her with my skateboard and she ran away. Run back. <laughs> so she ran back to where she was. We got my eye from, and she's like sitting there. And I was like to the guy, I was like, the guy that um, she was sitting next to, I was like, do you speak English? He's like, yeah. I'm like, okay, this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna smack you with the skateboard. I'm gonna smack your friend with the skateboard, and you're gonna beat up the girl because she, because she done this to you. They're like, no, no, no. And the Hungarian guy at first, he was like, no, no, leave it alone. He's like, no, fuck it. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna beat you up as well. We <laughs> <laughs> just. I ended up getting, I ended up getting a Facebook. His name is Martin. His exact name is Martin too. It was Martin, me. Martin it was Todd. Yeah, it was me actually. Martin. I was gonna tell that story. Yeah, Martin, Martin. Sherlock Holmes, his name master was, of disguise. His name was Martin Todd. At first, he was scared. She put out a knife. I was like, dude, I got a skateboard that's fucking massive. She's got a little small blade that, and she's buckles. She was trolley. She could barely even walk. I was like, there's no way in hell she's gonna stab me. Like, all right. So, they, were they the hairiest situations you've ever been in in, oh, in Budapest? Yeah, oh, let me think for a second. There, there's a time of being knife pulled out. Oh, there was a time actually. All right, if Hungarians, you're listening to this, why do you hate skateboarders so much? Because every time I've skateboarded, I think someone, everyone hates skateboarders. Yeah, there's, there's, not, there's, not many, there's not that many skateboarders no, in the like, Every time I've skateboarded. And yet there's a lot of skate parts. And you want know skateboarders. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, there's one time. So uh, actually, this is the scariest. Do a kickflip. 
can't. <laughs> this is the scariest situation I've ever been in. Yeah. Like, really scary. Yeah. So I was skateboarding down, actually right here on the Karoot, past KFC. This, yeah. guy, this guy punches me. So I, like, get off. While my, you're on your board. Yeah. Just out of nowhere, just punch. And he was probably about. Well, Alex. Shit, I remember that. It, it was probably about Alex's size. He wasn't a. He was a young kid. He was probably about 18, 19. No, he just lashed out at you when you were going past for no reason. And I, I was actually sober. This was the day when I had a drinking ban. I was actually on a drinking ban. He was so, furious. I see I, what happens. I, 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 I was so. I it. was sober as shit. I was going home, and this guy just gets out and fucking punches me, and so I'm like, fuck this. I gave him a little left, right, broke his nose, I'm pretty sure. He's got blood running down his face, and he's like, he realised, he's like, oh, okay, I fucked up. And <laughs> two seconds later, police come. And I'm like, oh, Ooh. I'm fucked. They're like, they look at me, I'm, there's nothing wrong with me. They look at this guy, he's got blood pouring down his face. And the police, well, I'm like, to the police, I'm like, and like, yeah, I'm illegal as well. So I, was like, <laughs> I was like to the police, I'm like, I'm like, I, I'm a tourist. I'm just trying to get back to my hostel. I didn't do anything. They're like, they're like, we we seen everything. I'm like, and my skateboard flew under a car. I didn't know where my skateboard was because like I just fought back. I was like, fuck this guy. And then literally the police like, we seen everything. Like you can go, we'll, oh, we'll deal with him. And I was like, are you serious? Mm-hmm. I was like, oh my god, I just beating the shit out of this guy. Was and, that the scariest moment? Yeah, because I'm illegal. <laughs> uh, of course, it's the scariest moment. But yeah, have you had like, have you guys had any other runnings? To be with fair, the, I, the, I remember. Uh, yeah, he shit. messaged me right away when he got. I mean, I was too buckled because I fucking went out and partied that night. I was sober as shit, and I've got fucking. <laughs> but I remember up reading that. I was like, "This is bullshit." And then you were explaining it to me the next day. Like and the kid looked like he was about eight, seventeen, eighteen. I think, and I just beat up a child. I'm an old. I'm a grown up. <laughs> but come on, like, I, would you say Budapest is a violent city? No. no. Not at Do all. Do you reckon it's a dangerous... Uh, no. Why am I looking at Martin here when he's from Buenos Aires? No, I don't think it's dangerous at all. Like, Ooh. Yoya says that, like, they come with a knife. Like, I need to see a gun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. With a knife, it's just, come on. I can handle that. Yeah. Compared to where you're from. Right now, you will not handle it. Compared to no, where you're from. No, I'm too European now. Well, I mean, I fucking was born in the suburbs of Connecticut, moved to New York, back in Connecticut, in North Carolina. Nah, it's fucking... Pussy shit. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, this city. But um, would you say Hungarians? Uh, no, no. I, I say it's the same. Like I don't know. I've always been. But it's so weird. Granted, like, even they, growing up in Israel, or not growing up, but like visiting Israel many times. Like my cousin used to fucking hate that fucking. That I used to. You know, I fall asleep on buses all the time. End up in Ashkelon, pretty much. You know. What? In, uh, <laughs> Palestine. You yeah, guess what? Even that's not fine. You know. Um, <coughs> grant, granted, I don't. For people obviously listening to this podcast. I'm a short cunt. You know, I put on a smile. I act and uh, walk my place. Guess what? Everyone gets along with me. Never felt their end. Ah. Like, I lived in... When you're a lanky, a tall lanky cunt like these two. Yeah, I, so I lived they in... attract attention, Alex. And they attract the, the bravados. Yeah, people, <laughs> people always want to fucking have a drink with Martin me. With that moustache and the dreadlocks. Like, why wouldn't you? Look, two of them. Just up there with the, in the height. Yeah. Twin, tow- guys like twin you towers, you know? Let's drive like a plane you. into them. Uh, little fucking. guys like you and me would go. Uh, so, I'm from <laughs> Werribee, which is, you know what Werribee's like. Australia is far more dangerous yeah, than Budapest. Yeah, Budapest is well, nothing. Melbourne, parts of Melbourne yeah, are far Budapest more. Budapest is nothing. I lived at the dangerous part of Budapest, down the end of Nepson House. Oh, yeah, and that is the worst part. I've never had any problem. The only time I ever had one problem was uh, a kid threw a piece of paper at me wow. while I'm on my skateboard and his dad slapped him in his head. I was like, that was the biggest problem I had. And like, Taliki is pr- like pretty dangerous. But if like you live there, people see you every day. They fight with each other and they usually, mm. I don't want to be like racist or something, but they're usually gypsies and they're fighting each other. But they leave everyone else alone, unless you're a tourist with a camera walking through. Mm. With your you're a rocks, target. Yeah. yeah. What you call it for? Even then, you're I would not say like. Actually, can I tell you a quick, a hairy story? Yeah. Um, I ended up like at uh, Rio. Have you heard of Rio? Rio. In Budapest, a club called Rio. Oh, oh yes, yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, um, sick place, the outside area. Dude, it was like yeah. it was it was 
uh, it started at 5.30 or 6 in the morning on Sunday. So it's literally the only place that was left after uh, everything, everything had closed. I found it eat out at Rio. <laughs> oh, <laughs> did you? <laughs> I, ate out, I ate out at the at aquarium. It was a delicious meal. Oh, yeah. And it, and it just gave me, like, it, uh, and I went to uh, Rio. Like, I was actually, you know, the, there was a sea of couches in the aquarium. The two clubs on the side that closed up. By that time, and everyone was just flaking around on the couches, and then these two English guys were sitting across from me, and they're like, "Hey, uh, do you know where we can go? Like maybe a strip joint or a casino or something? We want to keep going." I'm like, "Yeah, me too. Let's find out." So the three of us went upstairs, and we saw the security guard, and we're like, "Is anything open?" And he goes, "Real." I was like, "Uh, "Okay, Uh, is it a place? A strip club? A (laughs) casino? A club? A bar?" He goes, "Go, go, go." And uh, one of the dudes is looking on his phone and he's like, it says it's closed. And I'm like, don't worry about Google. <laughs> I'm trusting this guy. Fuck what Google says. If he says we go to this place, we're going. So we jumped in the cab. We went to this place. And man, have it's you not been even there? that far? You <laughs> fucking took a club. Yeah, you have been there. From Aquarium when, um, It sits on the, on the Danube. Yeah. It feels no, like it's a, not from the... Oh, it's yeah, like it's on the Danube, isn't it? Maybe it, it moved as well. I don't know. What a like, like, fest. It's close to the Danube. What a fest. Yeah. It's right on the river. They One of the places there, two, that, two yeah, it feels, feels like the back the warehouse yeah. area of it. It's like an outdoor area. It's an yeah. outdoor. Like, like, it kind of looks like a festival. It it's looks, weird. It kind of looks, looks like the main stage. Appar- apparently, I ditched him there one night. Yeah. I don't Fishing remember. was playing that night. Oh, I didn't, oh. I didn't go there. Oh, okay. Well, at the back, it, it was weird, right? It was, it, was, it was crazy. But like all of the, the living nightlife that were, were clinging to life ended up at this place, it felt like. And they were like, you know, it was, it was like a gypsy club. I think it was like full of gypsies more than anything. I mean, it's and you know, and they were like dressed up to the yeah, nines, like, you know. They were like suits, yeah. and tattoos, and the chicks were like wearing these, you know, look like something from Mortal Kombat, you know. They were like <laughs> just kind of like dressed with their like, nets and shit, and like and the music was really good. And what did I do? Because you know, I was uh, actually, you know, Palinka is 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 my uh, drink of choice, and that was what fucking drove me nuts. And when I was there, I decided like, you know, I'm going to take some photos. So I went around with my camera out. At the back, taking like you know photos of the the river and the trees and you know distant shots, and then some of the young ones were like these young gypsies came up and they're like, take our photo, take a photo. I was like, okay, all right, I'll take your photo. And then you know they were posing and they were like, you know, I showed them, and they were like, cool, cool, cool. And like uh, I go, do you want me to email it to you or anything? And as soon as I said that, they were like, you want us to pay you? <laughs> no, 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 go away, go away. And I was like, no, 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 I didn't, I didn't want, like, my, no, no, okay, all right, fine. fine you just need to take the pigeon out, put it on their shoulder, and then you get dude, these two dude, these, these five big gypsy muscle heads, right? With fucking tats up their neck, gold chains, and these, like, you know, pinstripe suits. We're all standing there having a cigarette. And they all look at me, and I kind of look over at them, and they say, they look at me and they go, come over here. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so I go over. And remember, I'm like pretty, you know, I'm not eating out. And uh, these guys were like, take our photo. And I was like, okay. And I clicked. And I said, you like it? And they said, okay, now you have to pay us. <laughs> I'm like, what for? Because you took a photo of us. Like, we are very, you know, we are very strong men. We are beautiful men. You are, now you have to pay us. I was like, fuck off, I ain't paying you. I'll just delete the I ain't paying you, you're gonna pay me? Like, I'm the one taking the fucking art here. Like, look at this shit. And then like, I squared off with one of them. The other guys kind of moved around to the sides. And I was just like, just, I said, I'm just gonna focus on this cunt right here. But like, I didn't like make it any kind of like aggression. I said, I just started laughing and saying, you know, like, you know, complimenting him on his burly beard and his chains and shit. And eventually he kind of nodded his head. He says, oh, okay, you're okay, you're okay. You want a drink? A drink? And I said, yep, all right. So we got a drink and it was all fine. But that for me was like, ooh, <laughs> what am I getting myself into here? You know? Like, what I reckon is with, with Hungary, I would rather go to jail in Hungary than in Australia. Yeah. Hung- Hungary. Okay, you have skinny little gypsy guys. In Australia, you got big fucking Maoris. Fuck that. Mm. These skinny I'm li- not scared of Maoris because Maoris are like, every Maori I've met have been fucking cool. Oh yeah, they're great people, but the ones in jail, huh? Yeah, not the people in jail are cool. No, yeah, it's like, that's yeah, why they're yeah. there. It's like, I, I, yes, I, I, I was literally like, uh, I, I've got friends that have been in jail and hungry and they're like, yeah, it's fine. Well, I've been in jail and hungry, but have you? it was just a drunk tank. So, <laughs> <laughs> I beat the jail. <laughs> like, I got arrested here. I spend the I had to spend the night in jail. 
I, I, I count it. In detention. Did I they, did they tie your hands up? Did they handcuff you? I got handcuffed. Did you, you, drop, got, did you drop the soap? The soap? Yeah, the, 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 the soap. <laughs> I dropped it on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I've been Jeez. arrested too many times in America. Um, I was just sort of over it. The the only thing I really remember, like I was fucking drunk. To be fair, but also like, no, like like a kickback mm. in when I got arrested as well. But like, just the fucking guard was like when he was like fucking escorting me to the cell and stuff. Where was this here? Yeah, and he was just obviously speaking Hungarian, like yelling Hungarian in my face, like okay, whatever. It was like, blah, blah, blah. Being like, another time, I just sort of laughed. It's like, I didn't, I was like, I told you, you English. Yeah, he didn't understand. Blah, 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 blah. <coughs> just in my face, I just sort of laughed. And then he was like, oh, so you're not funny. I'm like, now you speak English. Uh. I thought that was pretty funny. And then I just, again, yelled in my face. I just <laughs> blanked it. I, I wasn't being punked at that point. But also, you know, I just, it was just a night, so... Probably would suck to spend a couple weeks I, I, here. But. I've, I've never been in jail because I'm a fast runner. I ain't a pussy like you. <laughs> oh, fuck that. What about outrun this kid. I I so, he he smokes out, too much. You could not outrun. Well, you, I'm, a sprint, you I'm a sprinter. Fuck you. We've already fucking yes. proven this. No, no we didn't. Run. Yes, we have. I've never, I've never psycho. versed you in a running race. I've versed you in swimming. And I was and eating got out. And I was I'm a much faster runner than I'm swimming. I'm so much faster. You would not beat me in a running race. <laughs> hey guys, the the festivals that that I have yet to experience. Tell me about those. Paint a picture for me. Which festivals? Seaget, for example. Oh, Seaget. See, like whenever so, I talk about this place, like um, you know, I talk about part, like you know, I've asked you to talk about the party scene in Budapest, and like you know, Ellen before she said like I can't not mention Seaget. So, so you've all experienced They're free it. here. <laughs> so yeah, festivals yeah, are fest free. Festivals are free. Huh? Festivals are free in Hungary, apparently. Well, <laughs> the, the first time I snuck into Siget, oh, jeez. So, but what are the stories that come out of that? Like, well, well, is it like... I have a fucking great story for Siget. All right. So I was working an Ultimate Ruin, and I was... Do an ultimate run. It was like the day before it get started, and I had like four days off after that, or three days off. So my plan was to sneak. I wanted to originally sneak in. We had a big group, and then everyone else failed. Like they all, they all left. <laughs> and he, Alex buys a ticket, and I was like, Oh, was like, I got a deal for a ticket half off. Uh, 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 well, I got a better a deal. After <laughs> after a better deal. fucking six years of getting in for free, or five years for getting in for free. <laughs> what happened you was decided to be a good citizen, so, and pay for the ticket. So I just not for half off, you know. <laughs> so I finished Ultimate great. Ruin about two o'clock. And I was like, yeah, I was like, oh, I'm going to Zaget. It was like, I was by myself. So I try and get a taxi and the taxi driver's like, I'm like, how much to get to Zaget Island? He's like, this price. I was like, yeah, fuck that, I'm not paying. It was like, it wasn't even a mafia taxi. He's like, F I'm like, fuck that, I'm not paying that. He's like, 5K. I was like, I'm not paying that. And I ask, I, I pull over a mafia taxi. I was like, yo, bro, I'm like, how much for a ticket? Uh, how much for, um, to get to Zaget? I'm like, please, like, I'm sneaking into Zaget. Can you please help me out? He's like, he's like, <laughs> 2k. I'm like, can you drop me off at the great, like the best spot? If you drop me off at a better spot, I'll give you 1k extra. He's like, yes, yeah, sweet. <coughs> he drops me off, and he's like, he's like, you go over that bit, you go under the bridge. Oh no shit! And Talk so like, so I'm sitting there, I'm smoking in this taxi, I'm drinking. Like it was, he was cool as fuck. It was a mafia taxi, but he was cool as nice. fuck. It only cost me 3k, and because uh, he dropped me in a good spot, so I, <laughs> I'm, so you got the island there. I'm on the other side of the island. I've, done all like jumping but I'm so fucked that I'm like I had to scale across the side of the bridge I was like what yeah I was like I'm too fucked for that right now I'm gonna sleep so I slept you had to scale the bridge to get into the yeah so I was but I was too fucked I was like I'm, I'm too fucked I'm sleeping so I slept in the bush I set my phone alarm for like three hours to wake me up so I was sleeping in, in this bush I just literally just lay in this bush sleeping in this bush wake up it was like seven in the morning I'm like sweet now it's time so I scaled the side of the bridge. I'm like scaling it. Fuck, this jump like in, an jump in. I'm in the yardest campsite. And I'm like, oh fuck! Like, but no one was there. I was like, okay, jump again. The first person I seen was Nadine. Oh, and party Nadine, book is Nadine. Yeah, the party book is Nadine. The first person I seen, and I was like, no way in hell. I was like, what the fuck? She's like dragging all the stuff. I didn't know where we were camping, so I was just like, oh, I was getting. <laughs> She's dragging all the stuff and she was Camp like... Camp Cunt 2019. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like, am I tripping right now? Or am I seeing you? 
just sitting there like, yeah, that's me. <laughs> so I go in. Perfect. I fucking go in, and I was like, I'm like yeah, well, we've got no wristband. And then Simon ends up finding a wristband and gives it to me, a seven-day wristband. I put it on, I'm sitting there like, oh, I'm getting away with everything. They kept coming to our campsite because we had people that were staying longer than they should. And then, yeah. yeah. And then, so I go home, I, like, I, after, like, a couple of days, I go back because I had the work to do. And then my brother messages me, uh, not Jamie, Nick. He messaged me, and he's like, oh, he's, I've got a friend in Budapest. He wants to come on a boat party. I was like, I'm not working the boat party, so I'm on the bar crawl. He's like, oh, I'll give you his info. So I messaged this guy. Well, this guy messaged me. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, man. I'm like, I'm on the bar crawl tonight. I'm not working the boat party tonight. And he's like, he's like, oh, yeah, he's like, I'll come on the bar crawl. I'm like, you want to come to this again? I'll sneak you in. He's like, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> okay. And I was like, he's like, I was going to pay for a ticket anyway. He's like, I was going to pay for a ticket anyway. I'm like, fuck it, all right. So the second time we snuck in, so we get the train there. We didn't get a taxi. We got the train. We bought yeah. like fuck load of alcohol. I bought a bottle of vodka, like a liter of vodka. He brought beers. This one I was a bit harder. We had to scale the fence. And like, because the, I don't know, people must keep pushing the, like, the fence kind of thing I'd, like the temporary fence mm. they got really loose so trying to climb up it it's going loose so I was like I was telling these guys of like these random guys I'm like yo can you hold the fence like I'm a I'm a YouTuber I'm just making up bullshit they're like yeah <laughs> so yeah we, we jump it me and him <coughs> jump it so we're scaling we, we go like a different way like it's kind of the same way and we're scaling this bit and there's a fucking police car parked in the middle of the field and we're, like, we're like oh fuck but where it was still was like bushes and stuff where we can like go through. And so like, oh, fuck it. We go through. My friend, uh, well, my brother's friend, he, uh, Jordan, he fucking drops, about, he had nine cans in his hand in a bag and he drops it. They split up. Well, one split open. So I was like, I was like, I'll go get him. He's like, no, don't worry about him. Like, like he's, he's got money. He's traveling around Europe. He's like, no, don't worry. I'll just buy drinks in there. So we sneak in and we just go back in and we're like, yeah. Oh, we're in, we're back in Saget. <laughs> and he's like, he's like thanking me. He's like, oh, thanks, man. He's like, wow. Well, so you uh, busted into Saget? Yeah, twice. Climbed a <laughs> fucking, jumped a wobbly fence, climbed the bridge. Yeah, the first time was easier. The only reason it was a bit harder, the first, like, it took longer the first time because I passed out for three hours. What was that, um, like, you guys went, uh, obviously, to Saget? Well. Yeah, I went, I went one day. We're, we're, okay, but they're special occasions, right? Like, they're festivals. But the things that happen in Budapest happen, like we said, like every week there used to be stuff on. What, what, like, can, you, can you think of something like, what was the most random night? Because any night you head out to, in Budapest, you could end up somewhere completely fucking random. I've had times where I just wake, I wake up at like Airbnbs and shit like that. And I'd be like, all right, how the fuck did we end up here? Do you remember something that like completely took you out of out of like left field? For for me, uh, the worst was uh, it was on my thirtieth birthday. Yeah. But what, it was the are day you before. Thirty already? Yeah. Oh, you're like twenty two. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was. What happened? It was the day before. Like it was before the like the massive day, where like yeah, as me, Danny, everyone just ate out. It was yeah. Bad times. Oh, a bit of a lot. Or well, I mean, yeah. It was Whatever a good meal. Was. But the day before that, um, yeah, apparently met some random Hungarians. They're like, yeah, going back to house party. I didn't realize the house party was goddamn who knows in the countryside. <laughs> Not that I knew at the time because I was <coughs> fucking bucked. Um, and I just, all I knew is I had to be at the hostel at 10 a.m. I was like, fuck, I need this to get is which, uh, This is um, Sweet Hostel. Yeah, old Sweet Hostel. Old, old, old or old? Old. <laughs> and I'm glad you know the difference, to be fair. <laughs> really random. But, so, yeah, they go back the next morning. And when yeah. I'm, and uh, you're not everyone's, like, everyone's like, you're like, you shouldn't leave. You shouldn't leave. Ha, ha, ha. You're not going to get back home. Oh, my God. It took me forever to get back home. I, I could not. I could not figure out the fucking buses out. All I knew is I got to the end of the line. In his bag, it said Kobani Kishpas, which is like. Kobanya. Which is close to the fucking Holy one you take way. from the fucking air, uh, the, like to go to the airport. Mm. And I was like, finally. Because I was like riding around in a circle forever, and then I finally got on the right bus. <laughs> and I was like, to the main line. And I was like, I was like, fuck, this is where I was? <laughs> Makes sense. 
<laughs> I don't know. Fuck it. Not up. that crazy of a story, but lost. Dude, you guys like you, you, I, Is it worth experiencing the stuff you've done at the expense of your memory of it? Yes. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Yes. And I've seen but how do you know? How do you know? Like, if you can't some remember crew. some of the shit that's happened, that it all better, pops right? up, man. But how do you know? You know, like, I, I've is seen it? Do you reckon these shit. things leave like an afterglow on your body just from experiencing yeah. these? Ex- something these will things? always bring it back up. Yeah, there's always something that yeah. someone said or I whatever forget, but that will shoot like, yeah, the memory yeah. back. It's like, oh shit, I did this. It was 100 yeah. percent worth it. I've had some crazy. Shit. Even when the knife was pulled out of me, I was like, I was laughing. I was like. I was like, and then, like I've had some horrible things. Yeah, but, the, but these things like, are like it, you know, laughing. To this me, is I like think. rough times in Budapest, like you know, like even know, the good times. Up, like, yeah, but I'm, I'm talking like the, the 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 party experience. The party experience, I would not like. But what do you mean, if, like so, like so, the the controversy to that would just be like, then you're just staying at home. No, no. Which is which is okay as well. No. Um, to me, I'd relive everything I've done in Budapest twenty times. Yeah. I've, I've, I've almost five years and. The shit that the parties I've been to, like, this is never gonna go away. It's like, okay, I waste, like, I'm 27. I've, I should be doing, like, a trade or doing something. Nah, fuck that. I've traveled to Budapest, spent five years here, and just. How far? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, crazy. It's like. That's the idea of life. Yeah, it's like, I'm not, I'm I'm not living to be a fucking doctor or a lawyer. I'm not that smart for a doctor and a lawyer. Like that kind of was. I'm living here to have fun. Like, my next stop. What's the be difference anyway? Is like fucking everyone's just here to. F- yeah, have just fun. to switch. I know you love that, but. Hey. Yeah. What do you yeah, mean? Oh, f- fuck them. Mm. No, we do what we want anyway. Yeah, like yeah, I fucking love this shit. Like I will, I would literally give my wife like, my life away to wife? do this again. Uh-huh. But could you get sick of it? Oh wait, does he ever? Could it, could it ever? Could it ever be too much? No. no. Have you ever reached a point? Have you ever reached a point where you're like, fuck no, this is this never, is never. Every, but <laughs> everyone does have a point. I, I don't have a point. I haven't. Yeah. I love my job. Yeah, I, I, lo- I, I love it. Like I loved, I loved my job. I don't have a job right now, but. Hola. But I, I love that shit. Like, I loved working for Party Bookers. It was the funnest thing ever. I loved working for, like, the Hostel Hive. I, could, lo- I, love, I love that shit. But like, that's what I mean. Like, could you like could you be in Greece and having the same experience and loving it? Or is there something about Budapest? Is it the people? Is it the, the people that's the, come? Because, I mean, like, you know, people come and go, right? Like, you yeah. you've been here long enough that you've seen... But, it's, just, to, to but it's still a type of person who comes to Budapest. Can I, can it's can a type I, of madness that drags can people Can I to say something really weird just because... Uh, yeah, I agree. <coughs> not... My oh, wait, should, can I get sentimental or not? Of course you can. No, you cannot. But can I... I'm just, All right. I'm, you, you well, go. then, uh, not sentimental. Uh, just from growing up in New York, in and around New York, um... Something I always loved Budapest. So, like, New York was a city that never sleeps. It was fucking great. New York, yeah. I was a fucking kid. Like, um, could always do whatever I wanted there. One thing I always loved coming here was also this was essentially the city that it could never sleep. You know, the clubs would be up at six. Six. Like, that's something, that's a question you uh, asked earlier. Like, what's the difference between here and home? To me, it's sort of, sort of the time. It's not really the type of party. You could find the same type of parties here. Like, I love going to fucking house parties. and the, But that's what it would have to be like. But you could find those kind of places or the clubs here. And to be fair, throughout most of Europe. Um, but here's however, what I love about here is like once, two, three times a week, find someone on a tram walking down the street that I know. They're just like, oh, hey, Alex, what's up? Is it like, is it small enough this city that you yes. still yeah you feel like you're in a a fucking town a town I feel like fucking in town, town. Yeah. yeah after Buenos Aires I it's true actually when you think so about small. it like if you go walk around Melbourne but the yeah it has of a city seeing life someone well. that you know is, but walking around here I always bump into yeah, I don't always. know if it's because we we always stand out it's a, no no it's uh, not because it's no 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 that doesn't we count move in the same circle like it's all. The same spots that we've been to, like Grandio, yeah. like the hostels well, on, on the, the market, same route. Yeah. No, no, it's the city center is too small. Like, yeah, I, I used to do that in New time. York as well, but like I would never run into the same people. In my university, sometimes mm. we'd be in parties, 
Oh, cringe. Sorry. We had Facebook, so may or, we may or may not met up, but like we, we will pff, never see him again. Other ones like pff, random people on Facebook I have never meet up with again. Here though, I would see him on trams. Mm. Yeah, I didn't even recognize him all the time. Yeah, like like yesterday with that coach, just bumps. Yeah, straight exactly. Ex- point in case. It's like point it's that's like, a great. Yeah, I literally I, I remember. What, Fucking, it was 2016, uh, at Zaget, I went to go marry a cigarette, because you can do that marriage thing at Zaget, and I went to go marry a cigarette, and I called it Ziggurette, at Z- <laughs> and, like, so I got a cigarette off this random guy, I was like, oh, can I have a cigarette, I want to marry it, and he's like, yeah, sure, and he, I'm like, oh, so... You can marry cigarettes in Zaget? No, no, they told me I couldn't. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, so hang on a sec. I want to marry my phone if it's they're, possible. They're, they do official marriages. Not official. Unofi- like, it's like a festival. Yeah. Oh, okay. And so right. I wanted to marry the cigarette. And I was like, it's Ziggurette. called Ziggurette. It's, and then <laughs> literally like for 2019, the end of 2019, this is like th- three years after. Yeah. So I'm walking down the street and I'm like... I asked this guy for a lighter and he's like to me, he's like, I know you. I was like, what? He's like, he's like, you tried to marry a cigarette as a get and you called it a cigarette. I was like, how did you know that? <laughs> and he's like, I'm the one that gave you the cigarette. I was like, no fucking way. And he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like yeah, he's like, he's like, I'm the guy. I was like, how did you know it was me? He's like, he goes, well, you got dreadlocks. He goes, you're not, literally. he's like, you're a guy that's easy noticeable. So he's like, oh. I couldn't believe it. Three years later, and this guy comes up to me. Like, I go up to him, ask him for a lighter, and he's like, he goes, yeah, you're that guy. I was like, <laughs> I was like this, is, this is insane. That's how small this city is. Yeah. The thing like, is, like, uh, it, it, like, there's layers of party, of part, there's party layers to the yeah, city. Uh, can, can we, can we, yeah, let's, ta- let's take a break. Yeah. I really need to take a piss. Yeah. Okay, okay we're back in five minutes. Back in five. <laughs> <laughs> hey, give me my cigarette, bro. Can you roll me my, my cigarette. Are you leaving now?
But you know, if you want, like even just if you want to fuck around, you can just press the button. Just fuck around. Oh. Have you guys learned uh, kind of like unwritten rules for the the party scene in Budapest? Like, do you kind of like, have you had enough of it now that you kind of like, all right, that's not what to do. That person's, you know, you can see younger versions of you from maybe the, the young up and comers coming in under a couple of years before you did. Or do you, um, just, do you just like keep stumbling through <laughs> and um, just making it up as you go? Yes, I've seen what not to do. Like, but I've always been like that. It's more about of a respect on the thing from where you are. Like, okay, I, I've done, I've had some drunken nights about my stupid shit, but I, I don't know. It's like, I see some of these kids, like usually they're like young fucking like groups. They're like you, they're jumping on cars and stuff. And they're like you don't do that. But yeah, because like, I never. Dis it seems like you guys send, tend to contain your anarchy. Yeah, like we do get buckled, but like some nights, okay. We're out of job, but I've never done something so stupid to stand on a car or beat a guy up for no reason. I've Did I say something really stupid? <laughs> Just oh. literally, uh, so Retox closed and then it fucking hurt. It was actually literally the first bar I ever set foot in in the city. Mm. Now, however, after 20 minutes I set foot in this bar, another Australian um, guy I knew from a place called uh, Path. Yeah. Are the fucking scumbags, the apparently. Uh, but, you know, that's what it is. Uh, literally went outside of Retox, walked on top of the roof of this car, and proceeded to beat it in. The cops got called. Uh, and he just sort of denied everything. I don't know how he didn't get arrested. Well, he did get kicked out of Retox, at least. He did. Oh, yeah. Of course, of course. Um... I'm pretty sure he did. I mean, I don't even know for sure, but I'm mean, almost positive he did. But he didn't have to pay anything. Literally. Huh. Walked on top of the this car, stomped it in. I was in Budapest for like under an hour. I was in retox. <laughs> Motherfucker was stomping in this car. The thing is like... Uh, didn't get arrested. Like retox and, 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 the, and some other of the party scenes in Budapest, like it's like you, it, it, it could instigate like the most like tribal and 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 like anarchist in everyone but they don't seem to kind of like cross a line it's like you guys have this unwritten law or, or i don't know if it's a it's a secret code or something but it's like you never really cross that line where it gets it's like travelers would but you guys maintain this kind of like you know what's right and what's not and maybe i don't know maybe it's something that's ingrained in the subculture of you of Party bookers and oh, no, party just people hostels. getting buckled. I'm like, just, no, there's a I'm just calling it edu being polite and educate. You yeah. know, it's just like yeah, you, you don't go to <laughs> even even if I was in Buenos Aires, I, don't, I wouldn't go to the top of a car and smash it. Exactly. Whatever I go, it's just you don't do that shit. Is the difference that you guys actually are here long term and that no, you're not, you're not, you don't you know, see no, this no, place no, no. as like a like come in do whatever you want and fuck off like Australians in Bali for example. Yeah, exactly, it's a, that's a great example. It's like me. I'm not gonna go to a country. I'm not gonna stomp on a car. Or beat up a local for no reason, like that. That's 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 not that's correct. Not a, that's not a it's human fucking thing. not correct. Yeah, I wouldn't do that in my fucking hometown. I wouldn't do it there. You like, do it anywhere. That's stupid. That, yeah. That's not something a human brain will sit there and be like, okay, I want to stomp on this car. I want to beat up this home human. It's like 
They're stupid. Oh, I want to go scream at a homeless guy that's sleeping. These English stag groups and these, it's usually English people that are doing but, this. But also, I think, it, yeah, it's like, it's it's like okay, well, okay, okay, if you listen to your English, well, it's not, it's not you but guys. But travelers for the sake of you, just, we're yeah. traveling for a weekend. Yeah. Like, oh, we're stag out of our bodies. home country. We think we could get away yeah. with everything. Yeah. But you I try that in Australia, yeah. you get beaten the shit out of. Like, you, you, if you had a stag pub in Australia and you did all that, you ain't going to last longer than five minutes. Yeah. And it's always that there's always those two guys like oh it's not it's not us it's them but like you travelled with them you chose to go there yeah. with these guys knowing that this is going to happen the best thing I seen about like an instant was uh, stag parties getting beaten up <laughs> it was one of my favourite things watching satisfaction one of my favourite things watching because they're going out there they're doing this stupid shit and expecting nothing's going to happen yeah because they think they're going to a fucking no, yeah. I don't want to say third world country, but they, the they think they're going to somewhere else. Yeah. They can fucking get away with it. Yeah. And yeah, that's the difference. But, it, that, yeah. but that's the difference for anyone. We, the people that live pretty much anywhere, I would say, are, are different because, no, we would not do that in our home country. We wouldn't do it here. Mm. We'd do it that's anywhere. What What's the point of doing it anywhere? Exactly. Mm. What the fuck is the point of doing like, it anywhere? Exactly. Shitting, in, shitting on someone's face while they're eating it. Who thinks that's funny? <laughs> I did Seriously, twice to you. you actually tried to do that to me last yeah. night. Now, come on, come on. <laughs> like, that's the thing. Like, you guys must Who have think? dared each other to do some fucking crazy nah, shit. No, not that thing. We're not stupid. Like, it's like... No, but other stuff. Like, not, like, not stupid. Like, could be seen as... Stu- whatever. Like, but, like, just, just stuff that... Like, I've, like, I've done some stuff, but it doesn't involve what they've done. These guys on stag groups. The worst stag groups are the worst, are 50 they? 50-year-old guys. And they were horrible. And they're, thinking, mm. they're sitting there, I'm thinking, oh, well, you wouldn't do this in your own country. Mm. Why would you do it here? And they're like, yeah, oh, why well, do you we're, we're richer. But, uh, that's, you're clearly not richer if you're going to another country to go party. Like, why don't you go to, like, I don't know, Singapore or somewhere that's really rich? If you're rich, well, then go to, like, Mon- Monaco and go to those places. <laughs> and you're actually yeah. richer than everyone else. And, and that, that's a fucking mentality, isn't it? Like, um... You, you leave your country you're like oh I'm gonna do the oh we're we're leaving here to do something. Mm. That's weird because I would never anything I could do here I would always do in America. Yeah, it's like they've been oppressed enough at home that they just feel like they just gotta. And that's that's like, a weird. Nah, yeah. yeah, that's a weird mentality. Wankers. That's a fuck yeah, a fucking wanker. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like that you're a fifty year old you're a fifty year old man groping twenty year old girls. How is that cool? Yeah, no. hmm. Right. <laughs> buying, 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 I see the buying literally drugs off the street, and wait, 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 wait. If she's ten years old, <laughs> Jesus. Buying drugs off the street and then complaining that it's it's fake. Hey, says. Jesus. <laughs> well, we just had a little technical difficulty. Yeah, we had a table upturned itself. Did you do it? Me, no, I didn't. It was Sue's. Sue's did it all. <laughs> Susie. Ethan, you always break things. She broke the table. <laughs> It's not broken once. Wait, speaking of so, uh, Lord, the owner of the hostel came in and apparently she just buckled this entire <laughs> table. <laughs> Have you ever had run-ins with bouncers? Into what, sorry? Bouncers. Yeah. Hungarian bouncers. Good ones, bro. A couple oh, of times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had a bad encounter. Um... There's been a couple of reasons why I'm not back, can I? Um, Alex, come on, you got, you, got, you said you got something. Oh yeah, really? Well, just because Suze is sitting at the end of the table, mm. uh, that's smiling and judging over there. The bouncer yeah. touched his dick. No, and just one of one of the bouncers that uh, used to work for you at the old open mic at the TK Lounge it was Laszlo. We just ended up making friends. Always used to hate me. Um, I hate you as well. Of course, I mean, I would as well, but like, you know, because you guys were doing your BPH stuff. Was, How could anyone hate you, really? Well, I was coming... What were, you, what were you doing? Oh, no, 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 I wasn't doing no. anything, but I was coming from a different hostel. I, I obviously, that. quite ironically, don't have uh, the wristband on now. And he was like, no, you're not here. I'm like, no, oh, I know Suze, I know Schmike. I'm like, I promise, like, <laughs> I could come in. Like, Hello, he used Simon. to get here, uh, you know, like, he used to go down and get you guys, and then... Uh, after a couple times, to be fair, he used to play yeah. bass, and I was like, you know, I play guitar. And then uh, we just so sort of went up on stage, but it, it was nice. nice. Uh, to be fair, the worst one here ever was from Instant. It was from when Instant switched from... I have a lot of good bouncer stories as well, mm. to be fair. Yeah. 
Because I get a bad rap. Yo-Yo and I probably have the best one. Uh, the one when me and a bounce beat the shit out of a guy. No, I was going to say the time that we were leading a fake pub crawl. <laughs> and then got the shots out of Wait, it as well. What? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Really? Now we have to bring it up. We were going to get the instant. There was a couple of guys that wanted to go instant. There was a massive live. <laughs> sorry, yes. <yeah. laughs> oh. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Stop, sorry. Stop no, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is brilliant. There is just milk bookers here. <laughs> so, yeah, there was a couple of us like, oh, the only way to get in is act like, because the bouncers knew me. I was like, we're on a pub crawl. So I brought these guys in. It's like, how many shots do you want? I look at this and like, it was like five. This was like ten. Yeah, we, we, did, we just sort of skipped the lines, and yeah, we took all the shots anyways. Sorry, yes, to get this thing to this. It was. I, mean, I didn't even want to go to instant. There were guests that actually wanted to, and I didn't. I was like, okay, I'll go. Uh, I would like again at this point to reiterate: there were not guests or random people we met on the street. <laughs> no, just, no, 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 they were staying alive. There was the two of them were staying were alive. They? Yeah. No, no, we met my granddad. I thought. No, it was at Hive. Oh, okay. We were drinking at the bar, at the rooftop bar, and they were at Hive. Okay. okay. This is an insult. I'm disappointed. <laughs> hey guys, which are the best parties? What are you going to do, man? Fire me? <laughs> <laughs> Not hiring you again. <laughs> Oh yeah, you were. We're yeah, doing scumbags. I mean, but there's other there's other times, anyways, that Yo Yo and I, especially with uh, with my hospital as well, we would uh, just sort of skip through the line, be like, oh yeah, we're on this pub crawl. Did you have some big parties at the uh, sweet? We couldn't really. Could couldn't you? think of one. The last, the last one we had, where you smashed everything. No, 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 no. that was kind of the party. Mm. Yeah, what do you mean? Yeah, that was that a party. Everything. Oh yeah, that was the end. That was a great party. Smashing, oh. smashing everything. That's not a party. I mean, like party like with opposite, like people from the hostel. Yeah. Oh, of course we had some Christmas, fucking Thanksgiving. Uh, yeah. Just a couple of times we went crazy. Mm. Chilly night. Yeah, yeah, Mission that was a good night. That was a good night. <laughs> I mean, yeah. One would say. But yeah, what, 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 what rocks your boat? Uh, pun not intended. Uh, the boat parties, the bus parties, the pub crawls, the cave parties, the, so, uh, the spa parties. Not the festivals, I'm just talking about like regular things. The, the open mics, the clubs, the bars. What do you think are like, the, the ones that you're going to take home with you? My favourite was Ultimate Ruin. I'll take the boat. 100% yeah, 100% nah. boat for me as uh, well, bro. On a special occasion because I don't have a river that crosses the city in the middle. No, I don't have bridges. I don't know what that means. My back yeah. home is, what's a bridge? Yeah. So, like, coming here, I remember when I was a kid and my mom used to talk to me about the Danube. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And then I ended up here. And then I realized that the Danube doesn't. It's from fucking Germany all the way to yeah. Romania. I was like, whoa. And then it's like, yeah, I'm taking <laughs> the boats and the Danube and the parliament. That's. I keep watching the parliament when I'm on the boat. It's like, I can't believe that I'm here. Yeah, it never yeah, gets yeah. old. It never, never gets, gets old. old. No. no, no, no. Do you remember your first boat party experience? I 100%. You do? Alex? I it's actually what tied oh. me to the city. To be ah, was that your moment? Hey, yeah, that's, that's a good question. The moment that you thought, yeah, I'm staying here. Oh, it wasn't like I met a man. <laughs> <laughs> no, tell us, tell us. Uh, it was a so it was a full moon. And I look across, I see this beautiful Argentinian boy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> his name is so Roberto. <laughs> his name was Timothy. <laughs> Timmy. <laughs> He's actually from Balaton. He did things that no one's ever done. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, I don't know. I just, my age is always love the boats. I always love being around boats. I grew up, you know, in and around them. Mm. Fucking great time. Yeah. And I was like, ah. So what set the city? And was that the, the, the boat parties that you're wearing right now? Was it Yasmin's or the party bookers boat party that you went on? Or was it different? Yes, I want to say <laughs> yes. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure though. To be were fair. there other ones? Like, I mean, in the past. I mean, did you go to there was a couple. So like, Arwen used to do one. This Arwen was, used to uh, run a boat party. I was or so everything. he claims. What? I don't know. I don't know. She's yeah, yeah. touch my dick, a little pervert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got that is that no, it must check? be yes. It must be yes. No, because I fucking I met yes. It, it was definitely hers, actually. Hmm. Because yeah, you know, I met her. She told me come on this, or I don't know if that's true or not. But <laughs> unless you went to um, Bo Party Budapest. 
<laughs> no, it wasn't. That wasn't here. It, 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 there's only it had to be party bookers. Mm. Well, I think it was party before party bookers. Or party. I, don't I mean, Suze was also running the boat parties before. I assume before Yaz. The mm. did you no, no there were there was a collaboration. Yaz. It was a collaboration. No, they was she was uh, she was organizing. Oh, I think that's what it was then. Too. Yeah, she was organizing. <laughs> Was was, I think it was from what stags and stuff like that. Yeah. And am I not wrong? Which everyone was in 2014. The boat parties fair. like separate from River Rampage. Uh, yeah, it was a yes idea to to start our own company, and we're like we absolutely support you. She thinks she's brilliant at business. I think she had great ideas, and she was working for another company and just not being appreciated at all. And the person she was working with was just this stick in the mud, really, like, you know, people who say no to all ideas and stop creativity, and as you know from Yaz, you can't, mm. you can't stop her, she's a firecracker. Mm. So I said to her, we might as well keep working together on River Rampage until you have enough support for yourself to do your own work. So there's no reason for us to stop working together because it's a good thing. And so we just never stopped, and then she started her own thing, and we continued River Rampage, and she became the boat's empress, and uh, master of the Danube, and we never stopped working together. So, beautiful partnership. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so she so was, yeah, was definitely as and yes, as she was working on the boat party giving hand jobs. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, I was. Both of them were. <laughs> and <laughs> also, uh, uh, to be fair, surprised. in the beginning, there's some bad <laughs> boat party <laughs> stories <laughs> about what both of you guys did. Oh, oh really? It was a triple reach round. <laughs> 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 and now I'm giving a hand job to Alex. You are. Oh, uh, yes. 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 One of the mic. Small. <laughs> Stop the hand job down. <laughs> that hand job is a finger job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna I need to see you. I need to see you. Uh, yeah. Are we allowed to pause it? Like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we can pause it. You know, last time. Alex fucked it. Because no, I didn't. The Bobby Smurda. We press. Uh, I've got a double back up here. So yeah, okay, I knew it. Press play. Yeah, we start talking about shit, and that hey, just this went to zero. So I don't know. Oh no, yeah, it would have been that the other one would have just Yo, got saved. Okay, that's amazing. This one's coming in. So all good. All we'll be good. back in five minutes. Oh uh, no, I'm good. <laughs> Thank you, though. Hello, hot, Father. And hot Nigel. Hot Nigel is a great. Uh, all right, sounds good. I'll see you in a minute. Like in a minute. Bye. It's, a, it's elevating music. Trojan Trojan really good idea. This podcast is Trojan music. Right? So you'll sign up for it, I will sign up for it. And then when someone gets put on hold, they're like, do you want the regular company music or do you want a live poll? Right? And it goes to like, so you'll get the phone call, it's the whole number. And you're like, hey, what are you on hold for? What are you on hold for? Yo, or you can see them like connect people that are hold together and they just freaking like, hey man. No, so companies wouldn't like that because most people are not You don't want them, you don't want to create a tribe already. Um, if you had somebody who was being paid by the second to entertain, then you're going to be more corporate responsible. 